Welcome to Baldwin. Baldwin is a suburb in Melbourne, which is 10 kilometers east of Melbourne CBD. Local government is City of Burundara. In 2016 census, Baldwin had a population of 13,312. Whitehorse Road runs east west along the ridge line through the center of Baldwin, um, and the Baldwin Road runs north south from Conan Creek Reserve. Um, which is just adjacent to the Eastern Freeway to Canterbury Road. Um, the southern western part of Baldwin um, was excised as the suburb of Dipton in 2010, which is going to be another video I'm going to be covering. Baldwin is just one of the group of suburbs, just a little bunch of suburbs in the east, um, which is really like, you know, it's really quiet, peaceful, close to the city. So the surrounding suburbs are Q, Q East, Baldwin North, Deep Dean that I mentioned earlier, Canterbury, Mount Albert, Mount Albert North. So th these little suburbs, it's it's really, um, what do you say? So it's really livable in one of these suburbs. And you know, if you're looking into moving into a nice area, quiet, peaceful, live, when you can, you know, grow your family. I will be selecting one of these one of these suburbs that I mentioned because um, it's not very big. Like the um, area of Bowen is five point six square kilometers or two point two square miles. This is what Google had to say about Bowen. According to Wikipedia, in the late eighteen fifties, Andrew Murray, commercial editor and political writer for the Argus newspaper, bought land on the hill overlooking Canterbury Gardens. He named his house Baldwin from the Gaelic Bell and the Saxon Wynn, meaning the home of the vine. Baldwin Post Office first opened in August 1874 and closed in 1894. It then reopened in 1920. Um, it also faced a second closure in 2011, but due to campaign by the local residents and an intervention of one of the MPs, the service was reopened. Baldwin is one of the suburbs that has its own cinema, local cinema. The Baldwin Cinema, which is currently operated by Palace Cinemas, first opened in 1930 with one screen. And then later on they added, um, or they converted to five screens in the 1990s. And then later on they added six screens, bringing the total to um, 11. Baldwin is um, consistently ranked as one of uh, Melbourne's five most exclusive suburbs in Victoria or in Melbourne. Um, so it's considered an affluent suburb, upper to middle class, same, you know, similar status to Kew and, and Brighton, which are other affluent suburbs. Um, it is close, or it has, it is close, or it has close proximity to Victoria's best private schools. Baldwin's main shopping area is located in the intersection of Whitehorse Road and Baldwin Road. To get there, the best way is to catch a tram, 109, which actually runs on uh, Whitehorse Road. So tram, you know, from the city and terminates in Box Hill and runs along or passes along Baldwin. There are also a number of bus routes. Um, going to and from Bowling, so routes 200, 207, 284, 285, 302, 304, and 548. Now for some stats from the ABS website based on the 2016 census, male to female ratio 46.8% to 53.2%, median age 42 Average children per family, 1.8. Average people per household, 2.7. Median weekly household income, 1715. Median monthly mortgage repayments, 2500. Median weekly rent, 410. And average motor vehicles per dwelling, 1.7. There's a lot of educated people in Baldwin. So people with bachelor degree and above, 41.9%, 4.8%.
compared to Victoria, 24.3, and Australia, 22%. Um, people, cultural language and diversity, Chinese, 21.8%, which is a lot compared to the Victorian average, 4.7%, and Australian average of 3.9%. Next one is English, 18.8%, compared to Victoria, 22.6%, and Australia, 25%. And then Australian, 14.7% compared to Victoria, 21.1% and Australia, 23.3%. Irish, 7.6%, same as the Victorian average and same as the uh, Australian average. Now, country of birth, Australia, 55.4% compared to Victorian average of 649 and Australian average of 667 Other top responses, China, 13.3 compared to Victoria 2.7 and Australia 2.2%. So there's a good size of Chinese community here. Second top other than Australia, Malaysia 3% compared to Victoria 0.8% and Australia 0.6%. India 2.7% compared to Victoria 2.9 and Australia 1.9%. Language other than English, Mandarin. 16.1% compared to Victoria, 3.2% and Australia, 2.5%. Cantonese, 6.5% compared to Victoria, 1.3% and Australia, 1.2%. Greek, 2.8% compared to Victoria, 1.9% and Australia, 1%. Now, there's a lot of professionals and managers in the area. So, professionals, 36.4% compared to Victorian average of 23.3% and Australian average of 22.2%. Managers, 18.3%, Victoria, 13.5% and Australia, 13%. Clerical and admin workers, 13.4%, compared to Victorian average of 13.3% and Australian average of 13.6%. Now with dwelling structure. Most of the houses here are either separate house or semi-detached terrace house or townhouse. Separate house is 60.7% compared to Victoria, 73.2% and Australia, 72.9%. Semi-detached row or terrace house, townhouse, 26.1% compared to Victoria, 14.2% and Australia, 12.7%. Flat or apartment, 12.6% compared to Victoria 11.6 and Australia 13.1%. Now, most people here actually own their houses outright. So I suspect there would be a lot of overseas residents here that actually, I don't know, got plenty of cash. So those who own outright their houses, 43.3%, compared to Victorian average of 32.3%. So a little bit higher than average compared to Australia, of 31%. So own with a mortgage, 27.9% compared to Victorian average of 35.3 and Australian average of 34.5%. Those who rent, 25.1% compared to Victoria, 28.7 and Australia, 30.9%. Now, if you want to live here or move here to rent, just be mindful that the rent here is very expensive. It's 419 per week. That's based on 2016 census, guys. So it could be a lot higher now compared to Victorian average of $261 per week and Australian average of $250 per week. That's all about bowling, guys. Enjoy the rest of the video and I'll see you on my next one.